250 quid, I think one of them was for a waterproof. No way, no way am I paying that. I don't know about you, but I find there's a bit of snobbery when it comes to riding bikes. But yeah, snub me, git. I think it's getting a little bit on the expensive side. And I think it's artificially pretty much pumping the prices up. And I don't know about you, but I'll not stand for it. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Back out on the ride, it's 26 degrees. I believe it's the current warmest day of the year so far. Might be beaten tomorrow, but uh, today, 26. Maybe I'll get out on the bike, get a bit of hills done, just on one, little one, and it almost killed me. <laughs> but yeah, really good fun. And uh, so far, touch wood, not many cars, I think. <laughs> Parked up at Donington on Bain, and then just got to go for a little circuit. Shouldn't be too far, I've only got a little bit of time tonight, so uh, yeah, why not? Beautiful day. It'd be a fool not to come out today and ride. I don't know if anyone caught it, I put a post on X and I copied and pasted it onto the community tab on YouTube. I went down to uh, my local giant store, which is Donington Hall, Giant, Lincoln. Knowing the weather was going to turn into a heat wave, as it would be, for the UK at least, it won't be long before it's absolutely chucking it down with rain. In fact, it was when I went down, it was absolutely awful weather. So, uh, in my head, I thought, right, I need to... Uh, I need to replace some old kit. I wanted a rain jacket, just a cheap and cheerful one, just to keep the uh, damp off me. Some rainproof trousers uh, and some other bits and bobs. So I went down there, I thought 150 quid should be plenty just to pick up and get the ball rolling. Prices for jackets were just ridiculous. I mean, we're talking uh, 250 quid, I think one of them was for a waterproof. Uh, that was a raffle one, of course. I think the... Uh, the cheaper ones started about 100 pounds, give or take. The waterproof trousers i think were about 70 80 quid <laughs> no way no way am i paying that online i went so planet x was the first stop because i thought right well i've got my mittens last time around from them i want to replace them lo and behold mittens also picked up some uh some new <laughs> road shoes spdsls planet x branded was it the karnak i think it is planet x didn't have any waterproof so i thought Do you know what where else am i going to buy stuff from so I went online to Decathlon and I picked up waterproof jacket. I picked up some waterproof trousers. I picked up some socks. I got some more base layers for the winter. I quite like the base layers. It is ridiculously wearing them in the warm weather, I must admit. But what I tend to do with the base layers, obviously I've got the microphone plugged in. So that's not going anywhere. And whenever I ride, if I put my uh, jersey above it, it just gives it an extra bit of a windshield as well on top of the windshield what was already built in, and it sounds a lot better than it is when it's sticking out, basically. Uh, I also picked up some other bits and bobs from uh, Decathlon as well. I picked up a couple of new jerseys, uh, a couple for me, just cheap and cheerful ones just to replace. It's always good to have jerseys, especially ones that are clean, <laughs> as I've often found. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll get, I'll get back from a ride and uh, I'll just peel off, chuck everything in the wash basket. Uh, but unfortunately, with living with girls, uh, obviously the wash basket gets full quite quickly. Uh, Dad's stuff seems to get forgotten about quite often. So uh, it's always good to have more spares of jerseys, bib tights as well, uh, socks definitely, 
and uh, other bits and bobs as well. I don't know about you, but I find there's a bit of snobbery when it comes to riding bikes, depending on what bike you've got. Um, at the moment, I'm riding the Planet X. I've been past a couple of riders already. I got waved at by one lovely fella and snubbed by another uh, who was on a Pinarelli, I think it was. I think it was a, a Pinny anyway. But yeah, snub me, git. <laughs> He's probably on a PB, I suppose. Is we'll have a little bit of a competition on screen. Uh, a comparison, really. So uh, what we'll do is I'll put um, what I bought from Decathlon and uh, Planet X on one side. I will put giant, generic, cheapest, equivalent what I would have bought on the other and we'll put the prices. So we'll start off with the helmet. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Then we'll move on to the jersey. And now we're going to move on to the bib tights. We'll move on to some socks. Then we'll move on to a base layer. And now SPDSL shoes. And then of course we'll do a waterproof jacket. Waterproof trousers. So there we go, that's quite a comparison on there. Now at the bottom, I'm gonna put the total of all that kit from one brand, two brands I should say, from Giant, and then obviously from Decathlon and Planet X. And these are the totals. So what you could be spending, and what you could really be spending. I think it's getting a little bit on the expensive side where it's becoming a uh, expensive hobby to have. And I think it's artificially pretty much pumping the prices up. And I don't know about you, but I'll not stand for it. If I can get away with it, I'll go for a cheaper alternative every single time. And I know a lot of you guys would as well. me up. So that's all my grumbling over. What are your thoughts on the subject? Drop a comment underneath. Let me know what your buying patterns are when it comes to the expensive world of cycling. Anyway, see you next time. Bye bye.